What's going on, everybody, and welcome to my NHL 17 Draft Champion Series. Just like Battle Royale in MLB, you draft your team, you play with them. The only difference is when you start off, you have an option between one of four categories. And when you choose a category, those will be the select few players you're allowed to draft. So in the newcomers category, for instance, you can only draft players that have started playing in the past few years. Now, they aren't always the same four categories. There's multiple categories, but you only get to choose between four. Now, for this one, I think I'm going to go with the Movember alumni. Pretty much what it is, it's, it's a card who had a Movember card in HUT. That's all it is, Hockey Ultimate Team. So I'll choose this guy. I'll do the draft, and then we will play... We are game number one, I guess. This team isn't looking too bad to start off. Now, in this, you only do get 12 rounds to draft. That is it. In this first round, it's a good first round. Now, uh, you see the overalls. For me, what I mainly look at is skating and shooting. It's pretty much what you need. And I will look at hand checking and defense. I don't really pay that much attention to. I got Eric Carlson. And, I mean... I th I'm going with Eric Carlson, highest overall, and he's a good defenseman who has a lot of offensive firepower, as well as the second round. Oh, I just drafted, no, I can't go with another d -man. And David Back is at center, he's a bit slower. Patrice Bergeron, I'd rather go with Patrice Bergeron at center, although Ryan Nugent Hopkins will get knocked off of the team there. The centers are looking pretty good. Phil Kessel got 89 speed. How's your breath, Phil? If you watch hockey, you'll, you'll get that reference right there. Left D-man. Now I'll take Ryan McDonough. Ryan Murray will be dropped off. But this team so far is looking good at a 90 overall. Matt Duchesne, Taylor Hall, Brent Burns, Jeff Carter. Skating. Uh, I'd rather get rid of Jonathan Drew. I'm just trying to bump off lower overall. So if I could pick up a right winger and knock off the 83 overall, that would be perfect. But it has to be a good right winger. I got all centermen here. I'm not taking Kessler. Don't like Kessler. Um... So out of these three, Claude Giroux, seems like the best offense option for me. So Giroux will move into my number one center position. Halfway, this will be halfway through the draft here. Aaron Ekblad, Yarmer Yager, 84 speed. That's all they gave him. Wow. Nick Foligno, you know what? Um, Mike, yeah, I got to go with Aaron Ekblad. The right D are looking good right now. 91, 87, and 86 overall. Carey Price. Oh, we got. Usually, I get my. I've gotten a couple of drafts before. I've gotten my goalie round in round eleven. No question, going with Carey Price at goaltender, ninety-two overall, and he's a beast in the net. Too bad he was hurt so much last year. So now, do we got? We do have a right winger in here. Joe Pavelski. Mm -hmm. See, I don't know though. I mean, Duncan Keith is a good option as well. Yeah, I'm gonna wait and hold on to drafting a right winger. Duncan Keith is just too good to pass up on with that 90 speed, and he's a really, really good defenseman as well. Left wingers coming up. Right D. Don't need another right D. It's the thing. Philip Forsberg or Philippe Forsberg. I, that's how you pronounce it. Um, Probably. He's a sniper. Yeah, going to go Philippe Forsberg. Max Domi is our fourth line center, and he had a good rookie season last year. Jordan Everly, right winger, no other right wing here. The two Sedin brothers come up. Look how similar they look. They really look similar. So Jordan Everly is our pick. Two rounds left, and usually your last round is like your best round. You get your first and your last round are usually your best rounds for players. So Nazem Kadri, David Krejci, Vander Kane. I like Max Domi though. Braden Shen, a bit slower. David, you know what, Krejci's Kri got good hands at 90, so I'll take Krejci, he'll move into our number two center spot, and our best round from what I know, yeah, this is a good round, uh, I mean, you could go with Crosby, 91 skating, 93 shot, 96 hands, but I mean, I played with Patrick Kane in this game, he is a beast. Probably my favorite card so far to play with, Patrick Kane. So there is our draft. 92 overall is it going to stay at? Finish it up. Let's see what we get. Carry Price, I mean, he should shut it down in the pipes for me. 93 overall draft. 95 offense, 92 defense, 92 goalie. 
They are my top players. So we will be hopping into game one. So as you guys see, I set Pittsburgh as my favorite team. No, it's not because they won the Stanley Cup last year, but I'm a big Sidney Crosby fan. So Pittsburgh naturally is my favorite team. I've been I don't watch a lot of hockey per se, but I've been playing it since I was, what, seven, eight years old, and I'm 17 now. I've been playing it for 10 years of my life. And Pittsburgh just started watching when I really was into hockey. Comment, commentating NHL. It's a lot different than Madden or MLB where you got to play and you get a break in between. Here it's more action just going back and forth up the boards. But hopefully let's see if we can get Patrick Kane some work in early. Carlson pretty much got four forwards out there when Carlson's on the ice. He already, oh, he already took a penalty. All right. I'm getting an early power play only 44 seconds into the game. Let's capitalize on the opportunity here. Backhand draws I have noticed. If you can time it right, you're going to win them a lot of the time. Keep it in, Carlson. Rip the slop shot. There we go. Top corner. Starting things off with a bang. Eric Carlson. You got four forwards out there when he's on the ice. I forgot to mention this before, but when you do the draft, you only can play four games. As soon as you lose, you are out. And the more games you win, the better rewards you get. So I went 4-0 oh, um, the first draft I did, and you get two gold players out of it, pretty much. You can put the collectibles to get two gold players, or you can work to get a better card, a 92 overall and 88 overall, depending on what you want. And that's where it, like it's really, really similar to Madden and whatnot. And MLB, not so much, because you just get a pack from MLB. But Patrick Kane, show off the hands. That's the reason I drafted you. Oh, no, oh, I thought I split him there. You can go for hits, but... Oh, nice pass right there. Hits are way riskier than poke checks. Taylor Hall, let's go. Uh, nice toe drag. Pass it. Oh, that was an ugly two-on-one there. I got another power play, though. I don't even know what he did there. All right, he's getting another slash. That was a big block there for us. I don't even know who it was. This guy just lays a stick down. I'm just going to burn him wide. All right, that should be a goal. Back. Oh, I'm missing that. Points open. Draw him to him. Play it to him. Let's get a tip here. Or he's just going to block it. We're keeping it in, though, barely. Tip. Tip it. There we go. That's the shot I wanted right along the ice. And I don't even know who tipped it for me, honestly. Um, well, I guess I'll find out when the names come up. Is he going to watch this? Two goals within eight minutes. Philippe Forsberg with the tip there. Shot right on the ice. I mean, I can't complain. That's what I called for. Is that, well, that wasn't offside. I might as well throw in a second game, but I'll see what he does. I, I find you get a lot more people quitting in Madden than in NHL. Because NHL, anything can really happen. A lot of lucky goals like that almost got through his legs. A lot of lucky goals can be scored. They definitely cut it down, but you still got the backhand, forehand on breakaways, fake shot, forehand, backhand, just cutting across net. Lots of things that can be done. All right, I don't even know who that is on defense. Street... Yeah, this is my third or fourth line defense. I think it's my fourth line out there completely. But they're still really good. Send it over to Domi. I got on a breakaway. See what I mean? Backhand, forehand. You just have to touch it to the backhand, pull it to the forehand. And we're tucking yet another one on him. Three zip. I talked up Kane so much in my draft, and he gives up. Oh, Gary Price. Oh, doing him dirty. Look at, see, look at that. That's what I mean. The puck just... I played it behind my own goalie there. All right. Taylor Hall, one-on-one. -on -one. Just get the... Oh, my goodness. Nice save, carry. Play it up. Oh, put it accurately, though. Finally, we catch a break. And he pinched up. Forsberg. Philippe. You already got one goal today. Just... Oh, we... This is what I mean by the cheesy goals. He poked that away. From me there, I'm almost certain. And it just slid five hole on Gibson. I'll see the replay here. But he was catching me. Forsberg just doesn't have the wheels that breakaway speed. speed. Everly with the assist. Let's see what we get here. And he lifted my stick and the puck slid into the net. All right, this guy's still hanging in here for us. We got Hall, Giroux, and Kane out there. Three beasts. I mean, what what can you do? Let's go win this draw back there. Get it up to Kane. Drive wide. Cut to the middle. Oh, wow. He, Kane couldn't tuck it. Of all people, you'd think Kane would be able to tuck it. All right, let's get the draw, though. Nice win. Back up. Away from him. Oh, no. Carlson, you got the wheels. There we go, Carlson. 
forcing him into pretty much skating it into Carey Price. Play it up to Hall. Play it over. Patty Kane. Over to Hall. No! Big... Oh! No goal. <laughs> what a save by Gibson, though. It was a good 1T as well. I don't know where the no goal comes in here, though. Nice save. Were they calling a... I, I just saw him played in. Maybe goalie interference. But that's, that's somewhat of a glitch, I'd say. Look at this. I just... I fell and pushed. I don't know how you call no goal there, but it's NHL and... Not even going to give me a no goal or goal signal. Just going straight to the faceoff outside the zone. Thought I went outside. Point. Anybody there? Hall. Over. Keith. Low. It's up. <sighs> Hit the top of the net. Hit the top of the net. Poke it out. In front. Patrick Kane burying that one right there. Let's go. Five zip, boys. Come. Now we quit. Lost connection. The other player. Five nothing win. That was a long enough game that I will throw it in. And I guess I'll show you what, like, the Draft Champions menu looks like. All right, so as we load up the menu, I didn't say it. He actually had more time on attack than me, but I just buried more. So here it is. You can edit your lines. One game one, five nothing. Game two, game three. So if I win them all, I'll be have enough to get two golds. If I win two games, I can get one gold from it. You pretty much get collectibles, and that's how it is. So I'm, since NHL sort of in right now, I'm going to keep uploading it. MLB, I know I said it's going to be up a bit more, but honestly, it's going to be a lot of NHL for me, and that's what I have to say. If you guys enjoy it, please stick around. Hopefully, I get some new subscribers from this. I'm just trying something else out. MLB is starting to die off as it gets to the postseason. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. Peace!